The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a comparative market analysis or a CMA for one of our clients. So we're going to uh, go to the beginning of our dashboard, which can be accessed through my matrix dashboard right there, or just pressing on the Omni MLS logo. Both take you to the same direction. So then we're going to go to my matrix and about one, two, three, four, five spaces down, it says my CMAs. So we're going to go ahead and select my CMAs. And as you notice, I haven't created any CMAs in the past. So we're going to start fresh and create a new CMA. Okay, the first thing it's going to ask us is, well, who, who we're going to send the CMA to. Now, if we have that person in our contact list, we can go, go ahead and select that person, or we can press the create a new contact here. But we've already reviewed how to add a contact in our quick start session. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, send it here to Javier Loza Bazan, and I uh, said it's in English. Now, this would be the description of the actual CMA. Uh, so I would write CMA for Javier um, in uh, Javier uh, home in Cerritos College. Okay, that's going to be my name of that CMA report. Now, just as a reminder, the CMA is going to be saved in the system for up to 180 days from the date of the last modification. So if you're approaching the 180-day uh, mark and, and, and you want it to continue a little bit longer, well, then just go ahead and modify something in the CMA, and that'll give it another 180-day period. So we're going to go up to the next section after start, which says pages. And here we're going to decide what pages we're going to add to our uh, CMA report. This could change uh, based on every client, or you could have a default set of pages that you normally sent. In this case, I'm going to go in and clear everything here. And I'm going to show you here on the left-hand side. We're going to open up the fields here. Okay. And uh, map and step. Okay. So these are all the pages that I've got available uh, to send in my CMA report. So for example, do I want a cover sheet? Well, absolutely. <laughs> Pretty important, right? Uh, subject price adjustments, yeah. Minimum and maximums, correct. Days on market chart, why not? Uh, list price and sale price, we can go with that one. CMA brief, now notice that some of these say USD as in dollars and other ones don't. So if you're ever gonna send your CMA report to, to an English speaking person that's gonna be paying in dollars uh, or, or selling in dollars, well then go ahead and uh, put the USD recommendation on there. If not, it's gonna be done in pesos. Um, now, as far as the static of information, it's additional information that you can add to your CMA report, such as activity versus timing, my guarantee to you, effective overpricing. We always know that there's some property owners that always want to elevate the price, uh, the listing price of their home so that they have a little space to negotiate. I don't necessarily believe in that, but anyway. Um, uh, benefits of using a realtor. Well, yeah, I really like that one. We're going to add that one. Uh, market analysis explanation, definitely. Uh, where commission goes, I think that's important for the uh, seller to know. Um, steps of positive showing, definitely important for a seller to know. And uh, we're going to go ahead and add a CMA map. Now, as you notice, in the order that I selected the items, it's in the order that they appear to appear. However, for example, uh, benefits of using a realtor, I might have to move, move, move that down a little bit. I'm going to move that down to the bottom. Um, where commission goes, I'm also going to move that down to the bottom. Steps of positive showing, move that down to bottom. And now I've got all my CMA. I'm going to move that one right there and the CMA map right there. Okay, perfect. Now I've selected the pages that I want to appear on this particular CMA report. I'm going to actually go ahead and set these as my default pages so I don't have to do this task in the past. And as you know here, it says save CMA page defaults. So we're, we're good to go there. We're going to go into the next uh, item, which is the subject, the subject property or the property that you're doing the comparative market analysis for. In this case, since I don't have a property MLS form, because I've never uploaded this property into the system, when I'm going to go ahead and do a uh, subject property field, I'm going to add my subject fields manually. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a photo of this property. Um, the suggestion is that the optimal size for this be 1024 by 768. I'm go ahead and pick a photo here. Okay, and there's my photo of my dream home. Street number, I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, pick um, here something in Rosarito, where I currently live at now. Uh, total bedrooms, uh, this is a five-bedroom home. Uh, baths, three baths. Uh, 
let's see. I'm going to square feet. This is about 2000 Um Price in dollars. Uh, this is uh, 250000 Okay. Uh, map location. Uh, let's locate the, the house here. I can do it by street address. Let's see. Have it locate. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> Located my street address real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. It's down there. Uh, any remarks? Uh, this is uh, a great uh, two for one deal as it has an independent um, apartment in the basement. Uh, okay, um, let's see. Spelling is always important, guys. Okay. So uh, we've got the picture. I've got uh, information on the uh, comparable property that I'm going to use. Uh, I could decide to save the custom fields as default, or in other words, the information that I loaded on here as my default. Uh, um, yeah, I'm going to go into, I'm not going to save it as default, but you can. And now I'm going to go on to the next one, to the cover. Okay, so, so far it's starting to show me a little bit of the information that I want on there. Now, I remember with the contact information that we filled out originally in the Quick Start webinar, uh, that basically pulls that contact information from there. In this case, I'm going to, uh, I, I can change that information. So, for example, uh, I'm doing a Nuevo Leon here. And as you can tell, uh, if you have autofill on your Google browser, where well, that makes everything a lot easier. Okay, so I've got the subject cover. I've got my contact information. Maybe I don't want to appear as Jose Javier Loza. Just uh, uh, I'm going to refer to my client as Javier Loza. No problem. Then I'm going to go to the comparables here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add from listings. Um, and I want to compare it with active listings, uh, possibly closed listings. Okay. Um, I want it's a residential sale. Okay. It's a single family residence. And within, uh, I'm going to go within five kilometers of my location. I'm going to. I basically told Google to go ahead and, and, and do that. And I'm going to go, I see there's eight matches here. So let's, let me go to the live count here. Okay, so these are the eight listings here in Playa de Rosarito that appear on my map. So, um, oh, this one's got 13 beds. That one's kind of out of, out of the question. This one uh, looks good. And, uh, six bedrooms, this four bedroom might even work. This three, I'm going to go ahead and do this three bedroom in Popotla and this other three bedroom here. So these are going to be uh, my comparables. Uh, remember, when you're doing a comparative market analysis, the recommendation is always to do it minimum three. Um, a maximum, well, there's no maximum, but three to five is always a good choice. So I'm going to go ahead and add these as my selected comparables. Okay, perfect. And then I'm going to go into the next section, which is the map area. Okay, it kind of already selected, actually placed exactly where the subject property is. Perfect because we did that earlier, remember, when we were talking about the subject property here, as we placed, uh, we had them search for the property in this part, it automatically located my property. So that's why the, the map uh, isn't as important right now, because I've already done that. I'm gonna go ahead and do adjustments here. Um, and so my feature property, the total bedrooms, once again, is, uh, well, actually it's right here, five, three uh, baths. Well, I don't have any half baths. Okay, so I'm going to see, as I see here, we've got the low end and we've got a high end uh, of the price. Okay, uh, let's view in detail mode. Once again, it gives you a little bit more information. Uh, I didn't put any data, any data as far as the square feet and stuff, so I'm going to actually uh, change that because that's kind of important. Um, well, we're going to go ahead and continue. Uh, if you put more information on here, that's even a better deal, guys. Uh, okay, so we're going to go ahead and do pricing here. So we've got our comparables here. In this section, we've got a, a summary and additional analysis. This section provides some additional pricing statistics obtained by comparing the subject property with the comparables. Here, we can enter our suggested listing price. Uh, um, suggested listing price is uh, $250,000. Okay, any notes that uh, you might, might wanna add? Uh, regarding this comparative market analysis, whether uh, the property is in question or uh, or a lotion view, whereas your property is not. Anything that you might uh, 
that might allow us to shed a little bit more light on this comparative market analysis. And then finally, we're gonna to go to the finish button. And as you can see, I've got my CMA here, really nice. And why don't we view the CMA? Uh, we, we're also gonna send the CMA to someone, but let's check it out to, and see what kind of a job this MLS system did. And as you're gonna, as you're gonna tell, uh, instead of creating CMAs the old fashioned way, which is with an Excel chart and writing down the comparables yourself and the fields and the formulas, well, this is a much better method. Uh, compared to market analysis, today's date, photo, uh, who I am, I prefer it for who, uh, subject property, my uh, digital signature there. Okay, this is the, uh, my property and the comparables here. Okay, brand new house, uh, interesting, okay. So we've got the comparables here, listing price between, uh, oh, this is the maximum and the, and the, and the high end, obviously a, a big, big difference there. Um, days on the market, for example, that's always, always uh, one of the things that I selected because this house, for example, it's been on the market for over two years. This has been on the market for a year and a half. It's been on the market for a little bit over a year. And so actually this, uh, this lot here is actually one of the comparables that I would work list price sale price and days on market brief summary of the comparables here as you can tell the report is pretty thorough uh, researched and prepared by javier loza and and, and and fine print this represents an estimated sale price for the property uh, now we're going to see individual analysis of each of the properties and it's so important for the property owners to know exactly what properties you're using as comparables and to find out a little bit about the property as you can see uh, this uh, Omni MLS CMA report is pretty, uh, pretty, pretty good. <laughs> Active properties here, summary analysis, pricing recommendation. Okay, and so this is just a listing price. This is remember my pricing recommendation that I that I wrote in myself. Uh, the location here and the comparable properties. There's one. I think the two is down here somewhere. Three and four. The comparative properties, market analysis explanation. The benefits of using a realtor. This is great. I love this. Where the commission goes, listing agent, selling agent. I didn't actually put numbers on there. That's why I guess uh, it gave me zeros there. Uh, but that's a pretty good explanation and, and a graphic there. Uh, steps to a positive showing. It's so important for the property owners to know that this is a, a team situation where, yes, we can bring clients, but they need to do their part as well. They need to ensure that we have a positive showing. And this is great. Now, the other option that it gave us here is to email a CMA. So we're going to, uh, this is the email already self-generated of the person I reported it to. Uh, I can create a new contact here as well. Uh, I can uh, uh, send me a copy of this report, uh, report as well in the email body here. And then we just basically send, uh, hello, test email. Okay. And go ahead and send. And basically you're going to be sending this particular PDF that we just went through to the clients. Uh, this compared to market analysis, a 20 page compared to market analysis that we were able to generate in, 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 a, in, a, in what, three, four, five minutes. So that's, uh, that's incredible. And that's it for the comparative market analysis report.